Hello everyone. This video is about the feature uh, managed user data in uh, CloudStack, which is introduced from 4.18 release. Um, so even before uh, this feature managed user data, CloudStack has already has the concept of uh, user data service, wherein uh, users can provide the user data while, uh, while they create an instance. So this is a, a pre-418 environment. So users can um, um, provide the user data text here while deploying the instance. So with the feature managed user data from 418 version of Apache Cloud Stack, so it enables users to uh, register uh, the user data in Cloud Stack and use those registered user data while deploying the instances. So I'll I'll, I'll explain in detail while showing the demo. So so under the compute section, we have a new subsection called user data, uh, wherein users can register their user data. So I'll quickly show you the register user data form here, where uh, the, we need to provide the name and the user data content here. Um, I'll talk about these parameters later in this video. So so I can maybe let's do a quick test user data here. So one can uh, register the user data like like this uh, here, and while deploying the instances. So I'm going into the add instance form. Um, so in the advanced mode section, we have user data. So previously it's just a user data text box here, and now if from four eighteen. Uh, users can select the registered user data, which are stored user data in Cloud Stack. They can also provide the manual user data like this here, like we do it before. So this is the new thing that we have added. So one can select the uh, already registered uh, uh, template uh, user data. And while on, once the VM is deployed, this user data will be passed to that VM. So this is one part. So the other part is about uh, the parameters is, so while registering the user data, one can uh, provide the uh, uh, user data like this here. So, so in, so CloudStack now supports variables in the user data. So one admin can define a user data which has some variables and while deploying the instance and who is uh, anyone using this user data has to provide the value for this user uh, for this variable says for example in this user data so this is a cloud init template um, so where uh, we are trying to change the host name of the vm uh, based on the user's input so let's let's try to do that host name and what we have to do while registering the user data is to define that parameter declare that parameter here so which is a new host name so this is a jinza based template which cloudstack currently supports wherein we have to give the variable like this ds dot metadata dot the variable name which in our case it's new host name so i have uh, declared it here and while deploying the instance in the advanced mode so under the stored user data, when I select the host name, users get an option to provide the value for this uh, parameter that we have declared for this user data. So in this case, it's new host name. Say, suppose if I give a new host name as a uh, uh, new DBN, new DBN host. So this host name will be set on the instance. So that's how the uh, parameters on the user data works. So that's one, that's the other part. So one interesting, one other interesting part is, so after this uh, user data are registered in cloud stack, admins can link this user data to a template, which means, so uh, say for example, I'm going into the templates. I have a Debian template here or uh, or while registering the template itself admin gets an option to link a user data to that template 
So any instance which is deployed from this template gets this user data, which is linked to that, linked to this template automatically. So that's how user data and the template linking works. So the other uh, uh, managing part that we are providing as part of this feature is, so while linking the user data, we can provide we can provide the policy on how this user data should be applied on that uh, uh, instance say for example so i already have a template here i'll go to edit it say suppose i am going to uh, uh, link this dbn lamp user data to this template and provide the policy of hello override which means, let me create it here. So this user data is linked to this template. So I'm going to the add instance form and I'm selecting the DBN here. So under the advanced mode, so since that link policy is LO override, so this is what we have set while linking that user data to the template. Users get an option to override that user data, which is there in the template, which is linked to the template. So users can now select any other user data they want to send it to the VM by overriding what is linked to the template. Similarly, uh, there are other override policies say for suppose to the same template if i go and uh, do deny override so what this what this link policy means users cannot override this debian user data which is linked to this template so this is strictly linked to this template so that user cannot override and the other policy is append which means users will get the user data temp, uh, instance will get the user data which is linked to the template along with that users can also append any other user data uh, along with this linked user data so that, that that sort of management we have given to the user data so yes this is all about the managed user data feature so one can register the user data, use it while deploying the instances, link this user to a template and deploy the instance using that template so that uh, the user data linked to the template will be applied to the VM. Hope this helps. Thank you.